The moment you tap Confirm Ride on your Uber app, you unleash a hidden technological ballet. You probably think you're just talking to Uber, but in reality, that single tap triggers a lightning-fast chain reaction, alerting a network of invisible empires that secretly power the modern world. Your request pings off servers hosted by one of the biggest companies on Earth. It uses mapping data from another tech giant to find your driver, and it sends you that driver is arriving text using a service you've likely never even heard of. This isn't just about Uber. Okay. Almost every app on your phone. Wait, really? From the movies you stream to the food you order is built on the backs of these silent giants. They provide the picks and shovels for the digital gold rush. And while you may not know their names, they are the true rulers of the app economy. So how deep does this rabbit hole go? Well, it all starts in the cloud, a digital empire so vast it powers a huge portion of the entire internet. When we say the cloud, for many of the world's biggest apps, we're really talking about one company, Amazon. Not the online store, but its lesser known, far more powerful sibling, Amazon Web Services, or AWS. AWS is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. Millions of customers trust AWS to power their infrastructure and applications. Organizations of every type and size are using AWS to lower costs, become more agile, and innovate faster. AWS provides on-demand delivery of technology services via the internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. You can use these services to build and run virtually any type of application without upfront costs or ongoing commitments. You only pay for what you use. AWS gives you more services and more features within those services than any other cloud provider. This makes it faster, easier, and more cost-effective to move your existing applications to the cloud and to build anything you can imagine. From infrastructure technologies like compute, storage, and databases, to emerging technologies such as machine learning and artificial intelligence, data lakes and analytics, and Internet of Things. Building on AWS means you can choose the right tool for the job, Holding a dominant share of the cloud computing market, AWS is the digital landlord for a shocking amount of the internet. Companies like Airbnb, Disney, and even tech titans like Apple and Facebook rely on its infrastructure. But there is no better example of this dependency than Netflix. In the old days, a database corruption incident at its private data centers meant Netflix couldn't ship DVDs for three days. To avoid a catastrophe like that in the streaming age, Netflix went all in on AWS, moving nearly all of its computing and storage needs to Amazon's servers. This allows them to deploy thousands of servers and massive amounts of storage in minutes, not weeks, giving them the power to stream billions of hours of content to over 190 countries without a hitch. When you press play on a show, your request hits Netflix's brain, which runs on AWS. It analyzes your viewing history and uses its recommendation engine, also powered by AWS, to figure out what you want to see next. The video file itself is then delivered to you at lightning speed. And while AWS provides the raw power, Netflix also built its own specialized network called OpenConnect, placing servers inside local internet providers all over the world to make sure your movie streams without buffering. It's a perfect partnership between a streaming giant and a cloud colossus. This reliance on cloud infrastructure is the standard. Spotify, for instance, runs its entire symphony of music on Google's cloud platform. So these apps have the raw power, but how do they actually talk to you? For that, they turn to a completely different kind of invisible empire, the digital postmen of the internet. Think about all the ways an app communicates with you. 
that text from Uber with your driver's details, the confirmation code to log into your Airbnb account, the call from your DoorDash driver, where neither of you can see the other's real phone number. There's a good chance all of that is being handled by a single company, Twilio. With Twilio, you can. Our innovative global customer engagement platform brings a lot to the table. Trusted data, everything you know about your customer and every interaction you've had with them distilled into clear, digestible data. All of the channels you need to reach them, however and wherever they want. And dependable AI that protects your data and puts the information your teams need front and center. Twilio can make every moment memorable for every customer. Twilio is the leader in what's called communications platform as a service. In simple terms, they've built a global network that developers can plug into using an API. An API or application programming interface is like a universal translator or a menu that lets different software programs talk to each other using a shared language. Instead of spending years and millions of dollars building their own complex communication infrastructure, a developer can use Twilio's API to add text messaging, voice calls, or video chats to their app with just a few lines of code. This is why Twilio is the secret engine behind the communication of so many apps you use every day. Uber uses it for ride status updates and to mask phone numbers, protecting both you and the driver. Airbnb uses it to connect hosts and guests. With millions of developers using its platform, Twilio has become the invisible yet essential link between you and your favorite services. So the cloud provides the power and communication APIs provide the voice. But none of this matters if the app can't get paid. None of that matters. And that brings us to the titans who control the flow of money. Every time you buy something online, whether it's from a small startup or a global giant, there's a complex dance happening in the background to make sure your money gets from your bank to the seller safely and instantly. For a huge number of online businesses, the choreographer of that dance is a company called Stripe. Stripe is an online payment processing platform that makes it incredibly easy for businesses to accept payments. Much like Twilio, it offers a powerful API that developers can integrate into their websites and apps. This means they don't have to build their own secure, complicated payment systems from scratch. They can just plug into Stripe. The list of companies that use Stripe is staggering. We're talking about giants like Amazon, Apple, Walmart, and Target. When you check out on Shopify, one of the world's biggest e-commerce platforms, it's Stripe that's often handling the transaction behind the scenes. When you pay for your groceries on Instacart or book a ride with Lyft, Stripe is there, ensuring the payment goes through smoothly. It supports over 135 different currencies, making global commerce possible for businesses of any size. Stripe has become the default financial engine for the internet economy. Money, 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 money. It's the invisible banker, the silent cashier that completes millions of transactions a minute. We have the power, the communication, and the money. But for many apps, none of that is useful without knowing one critical piece of information, where you are. And that's where the world mappers come in. How does Uber know where to pick you up? Tell me. How does Instacart plan the most efficient route to deliver your groceries? I don't know. Shopping with Instacart gives you the freedom and flexibility to meet your needs, so you can shop whenever and wherever it works for your schedule. How does DoorDash show you a map of nearby restaurants for pickup? I don't know. For a vast majority of these services, the answer is the Google Maps platform. Google Maps helps you discover new places, book an experience, and get there with real-time traffic updates. When you're signed in, and depending on your settings, your activity data in Maps gets saved in your Google account and is used to make Maps more helpful to you. Just like the other empires, Google offers its incredibly detailed and powerful mapping technology as a set of APIs. Developers can integrate these APIs to embed maps, calculate directions, find addresses, and track locations in real time within their own applications. 
Uber, for example, uses the Google Maps API to display the map you see in the app and to calculate routes and ETAs, paying massive sums for the privilege. While they have their own internal logic for some things, the foundational map data often comes from Google. This reliance isn't unique to ride-sharing. Food delivery apps like DoorDash and logistics companies depend on mapping APIs to plan routes, track drivers, and give customers accurate arrival times. Even social media apps use mapping APIs to let you tag your location or see where your friends are. The world's digital maps have become a fundamental utility, a foundational layer upon which countless other services are built. These empires provide the core functions of almost every app. But there's one final piece of the puzzle, a silent guardian that determines who you are in the digital world. Think about the last time you signed up for a new app or website. Did you create a new password? Yeah. Or did you just click that convenient little button that said sign in with Google or continue with Facebook? When you do that, you're using another powerful API from one of tech's biggest empires. For developers, integrating these sign-in buttons is a massive shortcut. They don't have to build and secure their own login systems, and they don't have to worry about managing passwords. They can simply let Google or Facebook handle the authentication. Sign-in with Google simplifies signing in by letting you access thousands of apps and websites with the security and convenience of your Google account. No need to hassle with account creation. That means fewer sites and apps store your passwords, keeping your data safer. The app essentially asks Google, hey, is this person who they say they are? Google checks your login, and if it's you, it sends a secure token back to the app, saying, yep, they're good. The app never even sees your password. This system creates a win-win. It's a win-win. For you, the user, it means fewer passwords to remember and a one-tap sign-in experience. For the business, it means higher conversion rates because people are more likely to sign up if it's easy. These authentication services have become the de facto digital ID cards for the internet, the gatekeepers that control our access to the digital world, all without us ever thinking twice about it. So the next time you tap your phone to order a meal or stream a movie, remember the silent ballet happening behind the screen. This is beautiful. So beautiful. Your simple request is being passed between invisible empires, the cloud colossus providing the raw power, the digital postman carrying the message, the transaction titan moving the money, the world mapper charting the course, and the digital gatekeeper verifying your identity. These companies have become the foundational pillars of our digital lives. They are the ultimate picks and shovels providers in an economy where individual apps can boom and bust, but the need for fundamental infrastructure only grows. They are the invisible, interconnected, and incomprehensibly powerful empires hiding in plain sight, running the world from behind your favorite apps. Thanks for watching. If you found this look behind the curtain of your apps interesting, consider subscribing for more deep dives into the technology that shapes our world.